Greetings, everybody. Your spiritual advisor, Miss Melinda from MissMelinda.com, here to bring you our new moon reading for the new moon in Libra, taking place on Friday, October 16th at 2.32 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. We're here to gain the guidance and the messages most useful for us in traversing this new moon energy in October 2020. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck today. I will be pulling four individual cards, speaking about them each, and then speaking about the reading as a whole. What is the guidance or the messages that we most need at this time to assist us with successfully traversing the energy of this new moon, especially pertaining to how this energy affects us as individuals and how it affects the goals and the desires that we have at this time. What is the guidance most useful for us? The first card that I'm getting is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very much about moving forward with great momentum. It's about feeling impatient. It's about perhaps feeling a little bit agitated. And it's about having some mature ideas in regard to how you want to move forward, but not necessarily taking the time to be certain that the plan surrounding those ideas has been fleshed out and properly attended to. The Knight of Swords does have a little bit of a warning with it that reminds us not to be too impatient, not to act too hastily. Even though we've had the time to kind of incubate our ideas and consider our next steps, even though our ideas may be mature, we need to branch out from that small picture, look a bit closer at the bigger picture, and create our surrounding plan to support our actions in moving forward so that the actions that we do take can be the most successful for us. Let's see what our next card is in traversing this new moon energy for the new moon in Libra coming up on October 16th, October 2020. What is the guidance that we most need at this time? And what I'm seeing here is the world card. And this is a really beautiful sign that the steps that we take at this time are likely to offer us a second chance. So there's a few things going on here. The world card can very much indicate that it's a wonderful time to reconcile relationships of any type. And it's also a really excellent time to have a second chance at the goals, um, the projects, the endeavors that we have attempted to accomplish previously, but didn't quite turn out the way we wanted them to. So this new moon is going to offer us a great opportunity to tackle our endeavors once again with a fresh start and this time use all of the knowledge, all of the, the skills, all of the wisdom, all of the experience that we've gained and apply it in a way that really allows us success. This is in regard to something you've already tried once or twice before. Now is going to be the time that you can finally have the results that you are seeking. And this is going to be about something that is passionate for you. It could be a creative endeavor, um, whatever the case may be. It's going to be something that really pulls at your heartstrings, something that has some passionate energy surrounding it, something that you very much care about and that is very much going to influence your life and yourself in terms of your personal fulfillment, your personal wholeness, and the way that you relate to the world around you, relationships around you and the world around you. To be more specific, it's about the way that you relate to life itself and how you feel regarding your place in the universe and your kind of connection to the cycle of life that you're currently in. So this new endeavor and this new moon can really be the kind of um, make it or break it thing that allows you to feel as if you're one with the cycle of life that's happening with you now or as if you're in opposition to it. So 
you're finding yourself right now feeling as if things are kind of working against you or you're sort of um, going against the grain, um, things aren't really flowing in a way that seems congruent and natural and synchronistic, um, this will be a good time. This new moon is going to help you turn that around and then once again feel as if you're flowing in your cycle of life in a way that's natural, that's easygoing, that's expansive, and so forth. So let's see what the next piece of guidance is for best traversing this new moon in October 2020. And I've got a card coming out here and it's actually the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is here to say, that you may not be seeing the full picture at this time. Um, and pertaining to everything that we're seeing in this reading so far, one of the things that's going on with this Eight of Swords is that you shouldn't allow yourself to be held back. If this is a situation where you can't visualize what the outcome is going to be and that's bothering you, perhaps you are a very visual person, perhaps um, things feel better to you when you can kind of see what the outcome is, when you can imagine that and see it in your mind's eye, if you can't at this time, if you aren't sure how things are going to come out, don't let it restrict you. You still, It's still a really good time to take those actions and move forward. Just pause for a minute and be sure that it's something that is going to assist you with the kind of fulfillment that you're seeking, the kind of wholeness, the kind of connection that you're seeking to others and the connection that you're seeking to the world around you. And that's going to help you. In other words, if you can't see the full vision of what the outcome is going to look like for you specifically, then take a step back and connect to the feeling that you want to have, the feeling that you're seeking. And that's going to help you continue to move forward because it is going to be a good time to move forward. There's a lot of fiery energy that's going to help you with that momentum help you with the inspiration move through the challenges move through the blockages don't allow yourself to be held back just because you can't see exactly how things are going to turn out it's a good time to practice having faith and to know that if you take the right actions especially the actions that feel inspired and that are fueled by your passion then have the faith learn to cultivate the faith that it's going to work out in your best interest it's going to make a positive change one way or another. So what is the final piece of guidance regarding our new moon energy in October 2020 and how to best move forward with that new moon energy? It looks like we have our last card and it is the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is about it's about our hearts, it's about watery energy, but it's also about spiritual growth. And the page, he's not fully mature, he's not a knight, he's still a page. So this is a character that speaks to us of growth. It can also be speaking to us very much of messages. So around this new moon in October, you can expect to receive messages regarding your spiritual growth. You can expect to receive messages regarding your love life, regarding um, the development of your intuition and your emotional development. But other than that, specifically in this reading, this page is talking to us about how we have to be sure that we're always viewing ourselves as, as beginners to a certain extent, as um, initiates, right? Initiates at the beginning of our path. Um, the Page of Cups is here to say, you're making great progress, please take the action. All of this is wonderful. Pay attention to your passion, pay attention to what your heart says follow those things, but also recognize the areas where you still need some growth, where you still need some development of knowledge or development of skills and learning, and recognize, especially in regard to your spiritual path at this time, recognize that it's okay to be a beginner in some ways, and that in many ways you will always be a beginner. There are always going to be things that can be expanded upon, can be learned, can be enhanced, can be, um, you know, expanded more. So 
it's okay if you get to a point where you realize that in order to continue to the next phase of this change or the next phase of this project that you need to learn more or develop more embrace that because it's a beautiful place to be in because it means that you are allowing the space within yourself and the space within your life to let that new knowledge or let that new experience or let that new wisdom into you and i I really feel this page is a lot about our spiritual growth. So this can mean a couple of different things for different people. It can mean that you get to a certain extent, a certain place in your progress, and then you recognize that you have some self-growth that you still need to work on or some inner growth that you still need to work on and that that has been the thing that is kind of holding you back, right? So the page is here to say, that's okay. Allow yourself to be vulnerable with that. Allow yourself to be honest with that and allow yourself to embrace that growth because the world card is going to assist you with making really beautiful progress. So don't let the need for the growth stop you. Embrace the growth. Take it on as a challenge while being gentle and kind with yourself. At the same time, you're on the brink of getting to a new cycle, a new path in life. So keep going. Don't give up. Many, many blessings. Happy new moon. Be well.